fall is my favorite time in Wisconsin. The gorgeous colors we see in the changing leaves, the cooler temps, and just the feel of new beginnings somehow, it all resonates with me. I go back and forth between looking forward to the yellows and reds of the changing leaves to wanting to hold on to the last bits of summer goodness. I'm Sherry Burbach, and as an artist, I find that there is inspiration everywhere in the fall months. As an intuitive painter, I am really drawn to nature in all forms. The landscapes, the water, animals, flowers, you name it. And I find myself studying the form and design of it all. This fall, I took a trip to Door County and I was not disappointed in how much beauty I found there. It was later in the fall when I finally found the time to go and I worried that I might have been too late to really enjoy the changing leaves, but that wasn't the case at all. I found the yellows inspiring this trip and I just know that color will somehow make its way into my art. I tend to spend a lot of time by the lake and when the weather turns cooler, I find myself just holding on to the last bits of inspiration from the water and sky. I could stand there an entire day just looking at the variations of color between the sky and water. It's no wonder that blue is my favorite color to paint with. I also spend quite a bit of time at the farmer's markets in fall. I adore everything about a market like this the fresh produce, the food, and my favorite, of course, the flowers. There is something about getting a big bouquet from the farmer's market that lifts my spirits for the whole week. Inspiration can come from things just like this. While I'm not setting up an easel at the lake's edge and painting, usually, I am taking everything in. I am taking note of what draws my attention and also how I feel. Intuitive painting relies a lot on that, and I've always created art exactly like that by whatever images God places in my mind and heart. You knew I was going to remind you that he's a part of it all, right? Summer and fall are typically really busy months for me when it comes to my art business. This year, I finished up the last of my art shows, did a few demos, and was also an artist in residence at the Cedarburg Cultural Center. I spent the month of October hanging out there while I demonstrated my painting technique. I also taught a class in mixed media flowers. It was so fun to see what everyone created. As the fall months arrive, I also find myself stitching more. I like all forms of creativity and as the weather gets colder, I tend to go back to my thread and beads and combine that with art. I paint on scraps of fabric and use stitching to create a different kind of art piece. This fall, my painting, Follow the Music, was exhibited at the Museum of Wisconsin Art. This is such a big honor. I adore that building and the permanent pieces they have there are really impressive. The exhibit opening had a great turnout, which is always nice to see, of course. This particular painting has had such an amazing journey. It was created as a collaboration with a chamber musical organization called Midsummer's Music. They gave me a piece of music that I had never heard before, and I listened to it over and over in order to create a painting from it. Then I attended the concert where that piece of music was to be played. I presented the painting and then listened to music being performed live, that very piece of music, and that was such a thrill. I then answered questions from patrons and it was really a special evening. So after that, I found myself thinking about that painting when I created the cover for my novel, The Space Between Dreaming. I loved how this girl in the painting seemed to reach out into a world outside of this one, into something better and more real. In my novel, the main characters are stuck in a place where they're holding on to these expectations 
that they have about their lives and holding on so tightly that they just can't see past it. They can't see what life has to offer them. In the book, there is also a painting that helps these characters along. The painting in the book is named The Space Between Dreaming, which is where I got the title, and represents the theme of that entire story. I mean, if I was going to write a novel, you knew there had to be art and creativity mentioned in it, right? So when editing was all finished and I was ready to create the cover, I instantly went to my real life painting, Follow the Music, in order to help the reader visualize the fictional world that I had created in the book. Art and writing have always been linked for me, so it was a thrill to bring these two projects together in this way. As the winter months approach, I'm focused on new work. Winter is the time I do more painting, I work on new functional art pieces, and I write more. If you have an idea for a piece you'd like me to create, please let me know. I've created many of my functional art pieces because of requests from people, and I'd be happy to hear from you.